Hi, I'm Phil from Elgato, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Wavelink integration with Stream Deck. This integration lets you control all aspects of your Wave microphone and Wavelink software using Stream Deck. The Stream Deck integration for Wavelink is available in the Stream Deck plugin store. To add Wavelink from the plugin store, click on the More Actions button at the bottom right of the Stream Deck app and scroll through the list or use the search function to find the Wavelink integration. When setting up the Wavelink actions in Stream Deck, you'll have the option to install a profile. This profile will automatically populate the keys on your Stream Deck with the inputs and outputs you have configured in Wavelink. Of course, you can also create your own customized profile for controlling Wavelink, but we'd recommend trying out our pre-configured versions as they actually fetch the channels from Wavelink to populate the profile and will automatically update as you update your Wavelink channels, making things easier. Now let's go over the available actions and what they do. First up are the input controls. The actions available are set input volume, adjust input volume, and mute input. The inputs in this case are going to be either your hardware inputs, such as the microphone from a wireless headset, or software inputs, such as voice chat from Discord or music. Set input volume sets the volume to a specific level. In the property inspector, you can set this to a specific percentage, and when pressing that key, the level of the selected input and corresponding mix will jump to that percentage. Adjust input volume will increase or decrease the input volume by a specific amount for each key press. For example, selecting the minus 10% for the stream mix means every time the key is pressed, the volume will go down by 10%. This is great for quick adjustments on the fly while live. Mute input will, well, mute the selected input. This action also shows the current volume of the input and updates in real time. Remember that when setting up the input actions, you will need to select if the monitor or stream mix volumes are controlled or both at the same time. Next up are the output controls. The actions available are set output volume, adjust output volume, and mute output. Output in this case refers to the monitor mix that you hear and the stream mix that the stream hears. Adjust output volume will increase or decrease the output volume by a certain amount each key press. The step size and if the volume is increased or decreased can be set up in the property inspector of the key. Set output volume will set the chosen output mix, either the monitor mix or stream mix, to a specific volume. For example, setting the stream mix to 60%. Mute output will instantly mute the selected output, in this case either the stream mix or the monitor mix. The toggle monitoring action will switch between the mix you're listening to, either the monitor mix or the stream mix. This is great for quickly checking the levels of the stream mix. The set microphone setting action enables the various wave microphone settings to be controlled, such as gain up or down, low cut and clip guard on or off, headphone output volume up and down, and more. These are all the actions that are currently available in the Wavelink integration. We anticipate more will be available in the future as Wavelink is updated with more features. Of course, you can use all the Stream Deck actions you already know and love. Actions like the soundboard integrate perfectly with Wavelink, letting you play audio clips and sound effects directly in stream or even in conference calls and meetings while controlling audio levels of the monitor and stream mix independently. Don't forget, since this is Stream Deck, that means you can combine all of the actions with Stream Deck's robust multi-action feature. Whether you're combining volume levels from Wavelink with effects from voice mod, muting certain channels depending on which scene you're on, etc., Stream Deck and Wavelink have infinite possibilities. Once again, I'm Phil from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.